Atrial ectopic tachycardia, also called AET, is a relatively uncommon type of supraventricular tachycardia. It is due to an area of cells that develop their own automaticity. In other words, uh, develop their own signals, cause their own impulses. In patients with atrial ectopic tachycardia, oftentimes they will have a gradual increase in their heart rate and then a gradual resolution. AET can sometimes also be incessant and be very difficult to manage. To give you an idea of the mechanism behind AET, please let me show you the blaufus.org animation. Let me start with the normal rhythm of the heart. This is called sinus rhythm. As you can see, the electricity in sinus rhythm originates from the sinus node up here on the top of the atria. The electricity then passes through the two top chambers of the heart, the atria, down to the AV node, which is the normal bridge between the top and the bottom chambers of the heart, and then goes down to the ventricle. In patients with atrial ectopic tachycardia, there is a separate place that initiates the impulse. This is shown here. As you can see, the impulse that travels through the atria is generated in this case in the back of the right atrium, though in patients with atrial ectopic tachycardia, the impulse could be generated anywhere within the atria. As you can see, the heart rate is now dependent on how fast this area generates the impulse as opposed to what the sinus node dictates. The mainstay of treatment of atrial ectopic tachycardia is either medication treatment or consideration of an electrophysiology study with catheter ablation. For details regarding these, please see the separate video clips.